Greetings. Our readings today are Genesis chapters 25 and 26. In chapter 25, we have the death of Abraham. And something that should stand out to us is how Isaac and Ishmael come together uh, to bury their father. Now, if you're interested in, in reading more about Abraham and his importance in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, I would recommend a book I read a few years ago called Abraham, The Journey to the Heart of Three Faiths. The author is Bruce Fowler, F-E-I-L-E-R. In the book, the author ponders whether Abraham could be the key in these three great faiths of the world uh, getting along. Uh, he gives uh, a wonderful understanding on how important Abraham is to Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And he paints a fascinating uh, interfaith portrait of Abraham as well. So if you're interested uh, in uh, growing in those areas and learning more about two other world religions and how the three are, are really closely linked together, I really would recommend that book. Uh, so this scene of Isaac and Ishmael coming together to bury their father, I think, could be a sign of hope for us in the midst of political and religious conflicts in our world today. I am sure that Isaac and Ishmael were well aware of the tensions and divisions within the family, the territorial attitudes held by family members, yet the line wasn't drawn by them, yet they had to live with the consequences of it. And here they gather side by side to bury their father Abraham. Now we don't get an image of reconciliation that's any more than that, uh, but perhaps in the world in which uh, Jews and Christians trace their roots to Abraham through Isaac and Muslims to Abraham through Ishmael, that Abraham can be that common link, that, and, and that common link could be enough uh, in a world so easily divided by politics and religion. Uh, and Abraham, though he has died, uh, his promise is going to endure as we continue uh, reading. Uh, the birth of Esau and Jacob uh, also appears in, chap in chapter 25. Rebecca, like Sarah, had trouble conceiving, uh, but resolution comes faster uh, for Isaac and Rebecca than it did for Abraham and Sarah. Uh, Rebecca has different challenges. Uh, she's going to be the mother of two nations, and these children will be divided. Uh, Esau and Jacob are born uh, later in chapter 25, and these brothers uh, look like they have two different vocations. Esau is a hunter. Jacob is a shepherd. Um, another difference that they have is the fact that um, Isaac has favoritism towards Esau, Rebecca towards Jacob. Uh, and Esau, due to um, both a need for instant gratification and not caring much about his birthright, sells it to Jacob. Uh, in chapter 26, we read more about Isaac and a reminder of God's promise that's given in verse 24. And uh, as a result, he builds an altar where God appeared to him. And God certainly blesses Isaac with a bountiful harvest and wealth. So in our readings today, we just really continue to see how God's promise and blessing to Abraham, even though he has died, uh, is enduring and uh, working through future generations. Those are my thoughts for today. Uh, take care and God bless.